Hey guys, how are you? Uh, it's been a while since my last video and I I was thinking about this stuff here for a couple of weeks. There are six emergency landings that shows us that uh, we live on a plane, we don't live on a sphere, okay? So I have we here with me the glistens map and I have a inflatable uh, globe. So we will talk about those flights, okay? The first flight that I'm talking about, a, a lot of people have talked about this flight. I've seen many uh, videos online. From the mail online, this flight, okay? <clears throat> it's a flight from Taiwan to Los Angeles. Okay, a lot of people have been saying this the flight left uh, the Philippines or Bali. No, that flight where the when the lady gave birth to a baby, he departed from Taiwan. So caught on camera, amazing moment. A woman gives birth to a premature baby girl at 30,000 feet on a Taiwan to Los Angeles flight. So here are some of the pictures, you know, you can see this online. Just go to the mail online, all right, and type there, Taiwan to Los Angeles flights. So a Ch uh, China Airlines, <coughs> a China Airlines flight landed in Alaska with an extra passenger after an expectant mother gave birth to a baby girl more than eight weeks early. The Taiwan to Los Angeles flight was forced to make an emergency landing on Thursday after Taiwanese passengers' water broke six hours into the 19-hour journey. So, if she departed, uh, that's why I have here, uh, let's go. She departed Taiwan. Okay, Taiwan right here. And she was flying to Los Angeles. Okay, it's the blue line. Okay, she was flying to Los Angeles. Six hours into the flight, let's say 1.30, one third of the journey, the water broke. Okay, so I'm dividing this distance in three. Okay, it's 19 hours flight, six hours into the flight, they had to uh, land. So, the easiest way for her could have been actually Hawaii, right here in the middle. Okay, Hawaii. She could have flown to Japan. She could have, I mean, not she, the pilot, could have flown back to Taiwan. But they landed in Alaska. Okay? So on a sphere, doesn't really make sense. But when you look here, you see a straight line. It's Taiwan right here, down to LA. So they made an emergency stop right here in Alaska. It only makes sense on a flat Earth map, not on a globe. Okay? So this is the first flight. Let's talk about the second one from USA Today. Cathay Pacific plane faulty fan for emergency landing. So I have here a map, also the same thing. Okay, they left Hong Kong to Los Angeles. They could have stopped right here in Hawaii. Instead, they went all the way to Alaska. It doesn't really make sense on the globe. Just like the Taiwan flight. Makes perfect sense on the flat Earth map. Hong Kong, LA, Alaska. Hong Kong, LA, Alaska. That's where they landed. Okay, all right, we got some more. So Qatar Airways makes emergency landing in Alaska, right here, QDN online, okay, Qatar to Alaska. I mean Qatar to, uh, the flight was from Chicago to Doha, okay, from Chicago to Doha. All right, Chicago, let's look at Chicago right here. Green line. Let's say they're flying straight to Doha over the Atlantic. Okay. They could have stopped in Spain. 
Portugal or North Africa, anywhere in North Africa, all the way here to Doha. Okay, this green line will be the route from this flight, Chicago to Doha. Moscow, Moscow is right here. Okay, so how could have they have stopped in Moscow if they are flying from Chicago, Chicago to Doha? Okay, Moscow is up here. Okay, why? It doesn't make sense here. Well, when you look here, you see here the blue line, Chicago, Doha. Okay, what do we have? This is sticker right here, Moscow. Okay, this is Moscow right here. Okay, Moscow. Hi, Chicago, Doha, Moscow. That's why they landed in Moscow because it was uh, the probably the nearest airport for them if they were flying over Russia. Okay, so we have here. Hi, right, let me read it for you. Moscow, uh, an Emirates passenger plane en route from San Francisco to Dubai, made an emergency landing at Moscow's Domo de Dovo airport after one of its passengers felt sick, a source at the airport told TAS on Sunday. Okay, so another flight from, uh, from North America to the Middle East that made made the emergency an emergency uh, landing in Moscow. So let's look here. San Francisco, okay, this is the black line here, San Francisco. Let's say they flew over the Atlantic again, right? This is, they would have to fly over the Atlantic and then Spain, Italy, Turkey, and then Dubai, okay? That's the route. Or if they flew over the Pacific, they would have flown over China, all the way to the Pacific, and San Francisco. Right? So, where's Moscow? Why stopping in Moscow? Okay, Moscow is up here. Okay, this circle here is Moscow. Right? Dubai, right here. Okay? Makes no sense. So, one more time, if we look here, San Francisco, okay, we'll get this closer. San Francisco, hi, Dubai. Okay, this is blue line right here. San Francisco, Dubai. Moscow, hi, they landed in Moscow. Okay, hi, right, we've got two more flights. This is interesting too. It happened in, let me see here, the date, I don't know. Hi, girl 9 dies on flights to Germany after suffering medical emergency. A young Italian girl has reportedly died during a flight to Germany after suffering a medical emergency. The 9-year-old was a passenger on Lufthansa's Airbus A340-600 flying from Shanghai, China to Munich when she stopped breathing. Okay, so let's look here. They're flying from Shanghai, Shanghai to Munich. Okay, that's the red line right here. Okay, Shanghai. Okay, flying over China and Kazakhstan and Munich. Okay, Moscow is not that far. But if you look on a flat map, okay, uh, that would be this this red this red line right here, Shanghai, China, Munich, Moscow. Again, this is sticker here means the Moscow is right here. Okay, Shanghai, Munich, Moscow, right above Moscow. That's why they landed there. Okay. And the last one that I have also from Asia to Europe, this is a PIA flight, a Pakistani Airlines flight. PIA flight makes emergency landing in Moscow. This is from this website. I'm not familiar, never seen this down before. 
But uh, the London-bound PA flight made emergency landing in Moscow on Sunday after one of its passengers complained of severe chest pain. The PIA flight's PK-785 took off from Benazir Bhutto International Airport, Islamabad, on Sunday afternoon. That was on March 15, 2015. Okay, March 15, 2015. Alright, so it departed from Islamabad to London. Alright, so let's find Islamabad right here. Pakistan, right here. Islamabad. So we follow this line to London. Okay, straight flight right here. London, Islamabad. So he flew over Iran and uh, Romania and Germany. Okay, Moscow is up here. All right, not that far. Okay, let's let's consider. Okay, although they were flying over many other countries to divert to Moscow would be quite a distance for someone who is uh, complaining of a severe chest pain. But again, if you look on the flat map, flat earth map, we have here uh, Pakistan, London, straight over Moscow. Okay, it's a straight flight. Pakistan, London, Moscow again, One more time. These dots here. Moscow, okay. There is another flight that I I saw it, but when I went back to try to find the link so I could print, uh, I couldn't find it anymore. I just couldn't find. Uh, it was also a flight over Europe to Germany, coming from somewhere in the Middle East. So uh, that flight, I could not find it anymore, the link. But what I will do, I will list all those flights below in the, um, in the comments below. So you can see for yourself and do your own research, okay? And you may get to a different conclusion than I, but I believe those, these six, I believe, these six emergency landings prove that we do not live on a sphere, that the world is not a globe, it is instead a flat disk, just like this map. Some difference maybe, but the world, the earth is flat. That's what I believe, okay? Uh, every day I've been looking at, at this and, you know, one evidence here, one evidence there, and then you gather them all together, you see now that there, there's no way we can we live on a globe. Okay? There's no way. Alright? So guys, uh this is all. Uh if you have any comments you can you know just write below. If you disagree with this, it's fine. I have a friend, he doesn't believe in the flat earth, and we talked a lot about this, especially this flight from Taiwan to uh, Los Angeles, all the possibilities. I live in Japan, so uh, if I am flying to South America, I either have to make a stop in LA, or if we go through Asia, we stop in Dubai. I, it makes more sense on a flat map than on a globe. Okay? But, uh, so uh, you, it's okay to disagree. If you don't agree with me, I'd love to hear your side, your perspective, your point of view on this. Uh, to me, the six flights definitely show us that we don't live on a sphere. We live on a flat disk. All right, guys, you have a good day. Hey, guys, how are you? Uh, it's been a while since my last video, and I... Uh, I was thinking about this stuff here for a couple of weeks. There are six emergency landings that shows us that uh, we live on a plane. We don't live on a sphere. Okay. So I have we here with me the glistens map, and I have a inflatable uh, globe. So we will talk about those flights. Okay.
The first flight that I'm talking about, uh, a lot of people have talked about this flight. I've seen many uh, videos online. From the Mail Online, this is Los Angeles. Okay, it's the blue line. Okay, she was flying to Los Angeles. Six hours into the flight, let's say 1.30, one third of the journey, the water broke. Okay, so I'm dividing this distance in three. Okay, it's 19 hours flight, six hours into the flight, they had to uh, land. So the easiest way for her could have been actually Hawaii, right here in the middle. Okay, Hawaii. She could have flown to Japan. She could have. I mean, not she, the pilot, could have flown back to Taiwan. This flight, okay, <clears throat> it's a flight from Taiwan to Los Angeles. Okay, a lot of people have been saying this the flight left uh, the Philippines or Bali. No, that flight where the, when the lady gave birth to a baby, he departed from Taiwan. So, caught on camera, amazing moment, a woman gives birth to a premature baby girl at 30,000 feet on a Taiwan to Los Angeles flight. So here are some of the pictures, you know, you can see this online, just go to the mail online, alright, and type there Taiwan to Los Angeles flight. So a Ch uh, China Airlines. <coughs> A China Airlines flight landed in Alaska with an extra passenger after an expectant mother gave birth to a baby girl more than eight weeks early. The Taiwan to Los Angeles flight was forced to make an emergency landing on Thursday after Taiwanese passengers water broke six hours into the 19-hour journey. So if she departed, uh, that's why I have here, uh, let's go. She departed Taiwan, okay, Taiwan right here, and she was flying to, La but they landed in Alaska, okay, so on a sphere, doesn't really make sense, but when you look here, you see a straight line, it's Taiwan right here, down to LA. So they made an emergency stop right here in Alaska. It only makes sense on a flat Earth map, not on a globe. Okay? So this is the first flight. Let's talk about the second one from USA Today. Cathay Pacific plane faulty fan for emergency landing. So I have here a map. Amazing moment, a woman gives birth to a premature baby girl at 30,000 feet on a Taiwan to Los Angeles flight. So here are some of the pictures, you know, you can see this online. Just go to the mail online, alright, and type there Taiwan to Los Angeles flight. So a Ch uh, China Airlines. <coughs> A China Airlines flight landed in Alaska with an extra passenger after an expectant mother gave birth to a baby girl more than eight. Hey guys, are you? Uh, it's been a while since my last video, and I I was thinking about this stuff here for a couple of weeks. There are six emergency landings that shows us that uh, we live on a plane. We don't live on a sphere. Okay, so I have we here with me the Gleason's map and I have a inflatable uh, globe. So we will talk about those flights, okay? The first flight that I'm talking about, a, a lot of people have talked about this flight. I've seen many uh, videos online. From the mail online, this flight, okay, <clears throat> it's a flight from Taiwan to Los Angeles. Okay, a lot of people have been saying this the flight left uh, the Philippines or Bali. No, that flight where the when the lady gave birth to a baby, he departed from Taiwan. 
So, caught on camera. I'm six hours into the flight. Let's say one thirty, one third of the journey, the water broke. Okay, so I'm dividing this distance in three. Okay, it's nineteen hours flight. Six hours into the flight, they had to uh, land. So the easiest way for her could have been actually Hawaii, right here in the middle. Okay, Hawaii. She could have flown to Japan. She could have, I mean, not she. Eight weeks early, the Taiwan to Los Angeles flight was forced to make an emergency landing on Thursday after Taiwanese passengers' water broke six hours into the 19-hour journey. So, if she departed, uh, that's why I have here, uh, let's go. She departed Taiwan, okay, Taiwan right here, and she was flying to Los Angeles, okay, it's the blue line, okay, she was flying to Los Angeles.